I often hear people say, when I'm in relationship, I just love more. I love who I am. The world's more alive. It's more vibrant. The colors are brighter. I'm funny. You know, like all the things that I think we experience often in the honeymoon phase of the relationship. And then what happens is the relationship ends. It has challenges, whatever that might be. And then we associate love with the hurt. We're like, oh, well, if I love people, and this is what happens unconsciously, we then avoid relationship because we say, if I love people, then they're going to leave me. They're going to take my joy. They're going to take my happiness. They're going to betray me. They're going, you know, X, Y, Z. I'm going to lose myself. And I often have people finish that sentence. When I love people, they. When I let people love me, they. When I love people, I. Those are all ways that you can unconsciously, when you finish those sentences, you can unconsciously be avoiding connection and relationship and opening. You can run from love that wants to love you, from connection that wants to be with you, for, even from your joy, from your possibility. You're like, I tried that thing, I failed. So I can't try things because then I fail and then I'm going to experience pain, but not realizing that when you stop trying to do things, the pain is relived because the pain is the thing that's constantly activated because it's not allowing you to do the things. So you're not avoiding the pain, you're living in the pain. So if heartbreak was something you experienced or betrayal, when you stop opening because of that, you actually keep giving power to the experience, to the wound. 